The debates in Detroit were at first a battle for the soul and future of the Democratic Party, and then they became about a fiery contest between former Vice President Joe Biden and pretty much everyone else on the stage during night two, including several candidates from the tri-state, and Mayor de Blasio had local issues follow him all the way to the Motor City. I don't understand why anybody goes to all the trouble of running for president of the United States just to talk about what we really can't do and shouldn't fight for. Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders played defense during the first night of the presidential debate in Detroit against moderates like Congressman Tim Ryan, who called their plans on health care and beyond unrealistic and unaffordable. It will finally include dental care hearing aids and eyeglasses. But you don't know Second that. of all, you don't know that, second Bernie. of all, we'll come to you in a second, I do know and I wrote the damn bill. Second of all, Eventually, the back and forth led to South Bend so Mayor Pete so Buttigieg making this proclamation. If it's true that if we embrace a far left agenda, they're gonna say we're a bunch of crazy socialists. If we embrace a conservative agenda, you know what we're, they're gonna do? They're going to say we're a bunch of crazy socialists. So let's just stand up for the right policy, go out there and defend it. And sure enough, that's exactly what President Trump and other Republicans did overnight between the two debate rounds. Old language. The on night two, protesters began the evening by bringing the death of Eric Gardner and Mayor de Blasio's New York City record front and center during opening statements. We caught up with them after they were ejected from the historic Fox Theater. And we came to make it clear to Bill de Blasio that he's not going to be able to export his brand of police accountability across the nation. Meanwhile, it was getting contentious inside as well. Vice President Joe Biden seemed more prepared than he was in Miami and ready for a fight, challenging the other candidates about how they'd pay for their health care plans. And I don't know what math you do in New York. I don't know what math you do in California, but I tell you, that's a lot of money. Biden took fire from all sides all night, including from Mayor de Blasio and New Jersey Senator Cory Booker during a section on immigration. Mr. Vice President, you want to be president of the United States. You need to be able to answer the tough questions. I guarantee you, if you're debating Donald Trump, he's not going to let you off the hook. And then again, on the topic of criminal justice, Biden and Booker got into it. Booker attacking Biden's record of supporting crime legislation, and Biden responding by attacking Booker's time as mayor of Newark, leading to this exchange. Mr. Vice President, there's a saying in my community, you're dipping into the Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. Uh, you need to... <laughs> You need to come to the city of Newark. And while all of that was going on, Senator Gillibrand struggled to gain traction, although she did have a nice, notable moment when she talked about her role as a white woman who's in a position of privilege to talk to other white women around the country about the struggles and issues that people of color face. In Detroit, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.